This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Visit Sailrite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. The seam on this leather recliner is broken. We'll show you how to repair it using a curved needle and thread from Sailrite. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite and I'm in my theater room and I am sitting in some leather chairs that are comfortable and they do have some issues that need to be repaired. So today we're gonna to use a curved needle and some good sewing thread that uh, you can buy at Sailrite and show you how to use a curved needle to repair a leather chair or any other upholstered chair. Well, here's a spot that definitely needs repair. And if it is uh, not repaired quickly, it will get worse and worse. So we need to get to repairs like this right away. And using a curved needle is an excellent way to repair uh, rips in seams like this in other areas too, which we also have to contend with on these leather couches. We have quite a selection of needles here. And I think for this application, I'm gonna try to keep the hole small. So I'm gonna select the smallest curved needle. We can uh, purchase these from Sailrite. We also have a V69 thread here that is going to match the color of the uh, leather uh, upholstery so it'll blend in beautifully. So we're going to just feed that through the eye of the needle. So we're going to feed it through and leave about a three to four inch tail. We're going to use a single thread for this. So now it's through the curved needle. Now we prepared the needle and I've also prepared the, the split that we have here by using a seam ripper and actually opening it up so that I have two trailing threads. These are the original threads that were in the piece. And what I want is I want some that are long enough so that I can tie off at the ends. So to do that, basically I opened up the seam a little bit. So let's, let's go one more stitch here. Now I don't wanna cut the stitches, I just wanna pull that through. And you can see that that thread is being pulled through the hole here. I don't wanna get it close to the sharp part of the seam ripper. Now I even have more thread. So I'm going to leave that hanging and I have that on this end as well. So all this needs to be closed up. Okay. To do that, we're going to take our curved needle and we're going to enter the hole that's directly opposite of this loose thread. So right along the other side. So if there's the th hole there. Here's the hole on that side. We'll enter that hole. Now it is very hard to push a curved needle through leather. So it's a good idea to find the adjacent hole and to follow it. Once I'm through that hole, what I want to do is I want to come out of that hole on the same side. So I will work my way around till I find that hole. And then I'm going to come out I'm using my needle nose pliers as a helpful device. I'm way too far, so I'm going to back it off. I'm a little bit too far. Too far. Right there. That's my, my hole. So I'll push the needle through, I'll grab it with the needle nose pliers, and I'll pull the curved needle all the way through. Okay. Now, this is my first stitch. I'm gonna leave a tail. I've got way too much thread, but you know what? I'd rather have too much than too little. So I'm gonna leave a tail that's approximately four inches, and I'm just gonna let that fall. Okay. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that this last thread is out of the way so i'll push that so i don't have that in the way when i do my next stitch and my next stitch is going to go completely across to the hole that's adjacent to this one so this hole and then on the next hole on the other side so we're going to look for that hole there it is i'm going to push the needle through and then i'm going to come out through that hole that's right across from it Again, leather is hard to push through. That's why we're going through the same holes that was created when this first preliminary stitch was made with a sewing machine. You can use the pliers and kind of curve the needle through until you find that hole. There it is right there. So now we can push it through. If it's hard to push through, just use the needle nose pliers. Okay, now, notice this. I've lost the thread out of the eye of the needle. No big deal. Um, all we need to do is, before we pull the needle all the way through, is re-thread that thread in the eye of the needle again. Okay, leave a four inch tail. 
<clears throat> and there we go. Now when I'm pulling the thread through, I don't want to catch this trailing thread and I also want to make sure that I don't have any kinks or knots. So I'm going to kind of pull this thread so that it goes through and it lays nice and neat. There we go. Now don't pull it tight. See how everything is nice and loose? I've got a thread here. I've got my trailer thread here, which is actually shortened up. I'm going to pull it so that it's longer again. And then we want to just keep doing that down the length of the stitch. So now I'm going to go to the neck, to the hole that is adjacent from that other one and repeat the process. I don't want to sew over my thread. I want to always sew so that I'm in front of that thread. So not, you don't want to sew that thread in. You're basically making zigzag stitches. This is the hole that the thread's coming out of. The hole adjacent from it is this one. I'm going to go through that. And then I'm going to come through the hole that's right above it. You can back off the needle until you find that hole. I'm a little bit too far. That's perfect. Push it through, pull it out. Make sure that the thread is still in the eye of the needle, and it is. And then make sure that the thread is not kinked. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep doing this. I've still got my tail. I still have the tail that's broken. This is the broken thread, and I'm going to keep doing this all the way till I get to that side, and then we'll come back. We're working on the last probably three stitches again. So I'm using my needle nose pliers. I'm going through and finding the hole above, just like we talked about. I found this approach to work pretty well. Pretty sweetly. Mm -hmm. Oops, a little bit too much. Right there. Nice and loose. Still got my trailing thread there. All right, we're going through the last hole here, which is directly across from that thread. Now that our stitch is complete, we can pull on both these tails here to draw the repair up nice and taut until it creates a good finished and secured seam again. So watch. Beautiful. Almost, almost looks factory done again. So now once that's drawn up nice and tight, we'll tie a knot off on this side. Now I have a lot of extra thread here and I don't need all that thread, but I don't want to cut it too short because I still have to tie a knot. So I'm going to cut about a four inch tail here because that this does complete our stitch. Now to tie a knot, when you have little small threads like this, it's kind of difficult. Remember, we still have this over here. So you might need to use tweezers or needle nose pliers to create that knot. And we should do a double knot. First. And now we do it again. Double knot. Mm. Done well. Make sure it's cinched up well. And it is. So there's our knot on that side. And one more time. Uh. 
There's our double knot. Now let's pull these down into the seam. And to do that, I'm going to get my curved needle again with my fat fingers. <laughs> and I'm going to feed it through the eye of the needle. Then I'm going to push it back down through my seam and come up in the middle of my seam someplace. Right there. That's right through the middle. So now my needle's sticking out. And what I will do is I will trim this thread so it's as short as possible and still will pull down into the assembly. So then now I'll just take my needle and see how it pulls the threads into the assembly. Now it may not pull all of them through and it, you may get the, ta the tail if it's too long out the other end, but you can just trim those off now. And we'll do that to the same, the other side as well. Nice. Through the eye. And then through the center of the seam someplace. There. And before we pull it all the way through, we cut the thread just so that it pulls down in. And notice the thread starting to disappear. Right through. And then we just trim off any excess hanging out. There you go. She is going to stay that way and my kids can beat on it again and we can enjoy watching movies on our leather couch again. Hey, for more how-to videos, be sure to visit the Sarah website or the Sarah YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get your supplies from Sailrite.